Okay, hello everyone. It's Borja here, and uh, guess what? I'm doing the tutorials you you all have been talking about and asking about and requesting and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now, and hopefully you will get to learn some stuff about making AMVs and all all that. But um, this first one is just gonna be about some like rules or stuff to think about and the basics in Adobe Premiere Pro because the programs I use are Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects but After Effects is more for the effects duh but I will be making those at a later date so right now I'm just gonna make the basics in Adobe Premiere Pro and yeah get y so you can get to know the program and stuff like that so the effects will be coming later so stay tuned for that but uh, let's start out uh, first ones are uh, some rules or stuff to think about when you're doing an anime music video um, so the first ones uh, are like my personals don't do it there should be no subs subtitles no credits in the opening or endings of the anime and no watermark uh, what does all this mean? Well, the subs is kind of obvious. The subtitles, no, 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 we don't want text in the middle of our screen or in the upper part of your screen. It's just in the way. Uh, and for the credits, it's yeah, it's obviously for the credits. You don't want a lot of text stating all the names of the people. That's why they're li releasing like creditless OPs and EDs, so you won't have to think about that. Uh, and this last one is the watermarks uh, in the top right corner, like the channel mark or whatever. You don't want that, because I learned that the hard way doing some episodes with the Railgun S, and I had the watermark, and I was like. Mm. No, not gonna uh, look so bad. So try to think about that. Uh, I got some ex examples over here. Like for example, the credits in the middle of screen. If subtitles plus credits, nah, it's... I don't like it. This AMV in particular is awesome, but it would, be, it would have been like perfect without the subtitles or credits. And uh, for my own one, the episode 5, Railgun S A and B, I got the watermark in the top right, and you can see it's moving around because I did some effect stuff, and uh, yeah, it's, I didn't even notice it when I was doing it, but now I, it's like super annoying, it pisses me off every time I see it. So, mistake, it's a mistake by my part, but uh, I won't do it again. But, uh, how would you go about and not having the subs or watermarks or whatever well uh, I go to uh, Nya Torrents and I look for RAWs Raw, what RAWs means is like the raw file it's, uh, it's, it's recorded without subtitles or sometimes it has the watermark but of, often not so for example if I go Railgun S you can see there are like super many raws. Every like gray picture is raws in some sort, uh, and it's like the episode without any subs or uh, credits. Uh, or well, the credits are there, but uh, the subs of the episode is not there, and usually not the order mark. Yeah, as you can see here with the railgun S, I got every episode with subs, and then I got some raws some raws up here as well and that's just because I don't want the watermark or the subs uh, for example for the well Radeon SF AMVs I did uh, I used often Leopard raws because they don't they didn't have the watermark and as you can see this was episode 5 uh, I learned by episode 7 I shouldn't have the watermarks if you can't like download from a site or anything like that and you still have the episode files uh, I could recommend a converter called Handbrake. It's easy, it's uh, free and it's super easy. Uh, I'm just gonna show you like, if you get it and you have like, 
an uh, MKV file, like an Blu-ray or whatever, when you download HD AMVs, uh, or not AMVs, animes. Uh, yeah, you can just uh, use the MKV, M MKV, and I will show you how. So this is Handbrake. What you do is you like open a file. For this uh, particular tutorial, I'm gonna pick some with Black Bullet because that's like my new favorite series. So I'm gonna select the latest episode, episode four, and it's just gonna pop up, and it will say from chapter one to chapter one. Well, that's the entire entire uh, show. So then you just choose destination where you want it to end up. I have a I have a prepared folder right here. I'm just gonna call it Black Bullet Four. Uh, what the important thing here is, you want it to be MP4. You don't want it to be MKV again. You want to be MP4, and you go to subtitles. And if there are any subtitles right here, you clear it. So you just load in the episode, you choose the destination, make sure it's mp4 uh, and then you go to subtitles and clear it and that will clear the subtitles for you in the episode and make it mp4 so you can uh, edit with it so let's just start that up and in the meantime while that's loading you can see 2% now, 3 I'm gonna talk about the next thing which is royalty free music uh, I try to use as much royalty free music as I can. What royalty means is like it's copyright free so you can just use it how much you want and you won't get flagged or anything on YouTube. So what I usually use is uh, I go to Newgrounds and I find artists that are willing to like uh, allow you to use their songs if you just credit them and stuff like that. So for example I got Waterflame here as you might know many many of my AMVs are from uh, Waterflame for example you got the like you heard uh, like this one like from this AMV remember maybe yeah it's the same song and he is so awesome that is if you read the licensing term you must be give credit to the artist that's all you have to do you can use the song so make sure when you are on here new ground searching for music make sure they are allowing you to use the music first uh, the next thing is machinima sound on youtube they are one of many many uh, music producers on youtube that allows you to use their songs in projects and stuff like that uh, for example maybe, maybe you remember Yeah, it's from the Beyond the Boundary AMV I did. So that's royalty free, you can use how, my, how much you want. Sometimes I don't use royalty free music, but uh, be careful about that because the video might get removed and even your uh, YouTube account getting banned. So be careful when you're using music. 